So guys, we got to Kakaoku. We've been staying here in town for some time. Uh, for like some years now, we've been staying in town for some years. I have been staying in town for some years, and uh, we have been paying rent, paying rent to town uh, for Kudipa uh, rent here 10k. Kila mwezi ke mwaka moja, so ni 120, around 120,000. Yeah, but we've been paying. Na tunakuwa tunangangana, na kuwa na imekuwa na jaribu. Yeah, so, and you have to know that uh, rent is the most. Ni kitu ambacho kina sumbo watu wengi sana. Huku mtaani, huku town. Rent, ndiyo shida kabisa, ndiyo na leta watu shida sana. Uh, rent is the problem sana kutown. So uh, I decided to buy some land uh, and this is a series. This is a village life series. This is video number one. I decided to buy some land uh, worth around 1 million shillings or let me say 1 point something million shillings uh, in around town. But see town kabisa ni around some kilometers away from town so i've decided to set up something small and uh we are starting smaller naanza pole pole so i've decided to put up a semi-permanent house so that uh, i can stop paying rent because uh paying rent it's been hectic the unamka siku moja and then the landlord says anataka kuongeza rent kwa pesa yake anataka kuongeza rent kwa pesa yake and there's nothing you can do eh you anataka kuongeza na ni pesa yake what can you do there's nothing you can do so that's it that's one of the reasons as to why nimaamua ku to um, to build this to build this my permanent house and in the village, unajua in the village, in the village is, it's easy, it's a little bit easy, it's a little bit easy kujenga kwa sababu material are available, uh, labor iko available, lakini sikuizu watu wamejanjaruka pia. So, uh, labor, it's there, site, umenunua mabati, we've bought uh, iron sheets, we've bought everything. Uh, ki material, tumenunua, tumenunua miti, tukakata uh, mbao. Uh, we've got timber uh, na hizo vitu zote and uh, tumenua around 1500 feet uh, feet of uh, roofing timber hiyo ni kama na futi moja ambao ya roofing timber 32 is around 18 shillings let me say tumetumia kama 28 to 30k thousand plus transport haya uh, sita posts najua ni semi permanent house tutakuja kujenga bungalow baadaye uh, some uh, sita posts hizi posts za kudungilia so pia tumenunua uh, 10000 shillings uh, so uh, na kuna zile vijiti na misumari some kgs uh, kgs of misumari hapo pia tumenunua so we've uh, we've started the journey slowly by slowly uh, tunajenga hiyo nyumba so that uh, ni hame ni ende ni kaya hapo pole 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 as I keep pushing slowly by slowly slowly by slowly so that in future uh, I can continue mm, you know when I make it in future neza jenga nyumba uh, a, a permanent bungalow nyumba permanent and a good house uh, for now ni kanyumba kadogo worth like uh, uh, 50 iron sheets peke yake a small house uh, that is on a uh, and what what has pushed me so hard kwamwaku to to build that uh, these houses because uh nimetulia and the landlord comes says you know you have to uh, the, you have to pay two thousand water you know uh you have to add some water because I'm drilling water you have to pay more eleven thousand or twelve thousand so and I was like no. And his electricity, he's not using token, so we just pay the old way. Bills, there's a day a bill came of four thousand, and I wasn't in the house. I was on a church mission trip for two weeks, and the bill came, and nobody was in the house, and that was, you know, that was funny. So that is one of the reasons as to why I've decided to build. You know, we have to build while while we are young. 
and this is one of the reasons i don't go to nairobi because uh, staying at i can still we can still make the money people are make, the money people are making in nairobi here and it's cheaper here you know it's cheaper staying here it's cheaper everything is cheaper here so uh, we are building these 50 iron sheets semi permanent houses to my chama madirisha we've just bought the material madirisha zikachomewa hapo milango and everything so uh, when uh, so when we started kujenga hii nyumba tukaweka kila kitu hapo so kazi it was just kulipa paying their fundies so that uh, they can keep doing keep doing the work keep doing the work sai nyumba imesimama eh nyumba imesimama and tumeweka madirisha tumeweka milango roofing imeisha udonge imewekwa uh, tulijenga uh, we built a toilet uh, pia tulijenga toilet hapo tume fence so we just uh, waiting to move there ikisha kauka uh, we haven't applied any cement or any tiles or anything for now uh sai nyumba bado iko hivyo hivyo so that is one of the uh first things uh tunafanya pole 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 so the reason as to why i'm i'm moving i've told you because paying rent is a little, a little bit hectic hata kama uko na pesa but you are always paying rent you know mwezi kisha uko na 10000 you need to do something else but you have to consider paying rent so inakuwa ni ngumu sana doing a lot of stuff kwanza uko kwako uh, i want in my space to keep kuku, kufuga kuku to keep a lot of chicken kufuga ngombe and all those stuff kwa sababu staying in town it's a little bit hard kwanza kwa uh, landlords they don't really uh, landlords don't really allow people kufuga vitu kwao because they say kuku zako zitaenda au oh, zitachafua kuku zako zinaleta noise disturbance so as uh, maleta noise disturbance na zikileta noise disturbance you know watu watahamu kapuloti yangu and such and such and such excuses ndio zinafanya uh, i have decided uh, to build to kununua kashamba kadogo and to start life slowly by slowly and this is a this is this is in story this is a journey i'm going with you guys naenda na nyinyi pole 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 slowly by slowly slowly by slowly i'll be showing you uh, everything that uh, i've been doing everything that imekuwa ikifanyika so yeah right now nyumba iko tayari tumejenga and slowly by slowly tulikata miti uh, so building this house nili uh, my uncle i have an uncle mwenye alikata miti akakata miti then uh, uh, akakata miti ambao zikakuwa tayari but you have to remember hizo miti we still am paying hmm? i'm paying hata kama i not in monetary but i'm still paying for it if one feet of 3 to timber is 18 bob so we count how much money is in that and then he takes maybe trees so slowly by slowly slowly by slowly so uh, right now oh, he's been cutting fisherboard timber for me He's been cutting uh, ceiling board timber for me. I I don't have the money, but he's doing them for me. Uh, and this idea, so uh, I appreciate guys. So I'm moving from here to there. Keep following.